the Shroud of the Dark Side has fallen. Begun. The Clone War has. I haven't rewatched Ahsoka. It's not a show I have revisited. Uh, there are very few of the Disney Plus series I have, but Ahsoka is not one of them. But this video, it's I got to do it. I, I, it was something that was brought to my attention by Patreon Barry Brophy. Barry sent me a tweet from Star Wars theories to something to the extent of. Uh, make a live action Clone Wars. And I looked at it and I said, well, on the surface, you kind of look at it and you go, we have Clone Wars. Why do we need live action? And I've thought about this for a year. I thought about live action Clone Wars on and off for a year. Not, like, not, it's not every day I'm like, man, I really want Clone Wars live action. Do I really want Clone Wars live action? No, it's something that, that for you know a year, though, every once in a while, my brain goes to, you know what was cool in Ahsoka? The Clone Wars stuff. And I'm and I, I used to get hate for this, but not so much anymore. But I'm a big Hayden Christensen fan. I really and Anakin propelled to like my favorite my favorite Star Wars character over time. Like it was like there was um when the Phantom Phantom when the Force Awakens came out that did these elite series. And I didn't know what they were. I bought a Black Series Kylo Ren, and I went into the Disney store, and they had an Elite Series Kylo Ren, and it was die-cast metal. And I said, what? And I bought that. Then I kind of became obsessed throughout The Force Awakens, and every week they released these ones that, that came in like a Disney-exclusive pack at some point. But an Anakin one came from 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 Attack of the Clones, and... And when I went to go buy, I think it was Phasma, the worker at Disney's like, you know, on Monday we're releasing Anakin Attack of the Clones. And it was at, at that moment I was like, you know, I think that might be my favorite. <laughs> the, I hate sand, but I think I was like, I think that's my favorite iteration of of Anakin. I think that my favorite time period of Anakin is like Attack of the Clones. And obviously Attack of the Clones is before the Clone Wars, but it leads into the Clone Wars. And the series... I, I, I like the Clone Wars 2D, that stuff. I love that. Clone Wars to death. I think that's some of the best Clone Wars we've got. And then obviously we got the the three, the computer animated one. That was a massive hit. Went on for years and that solidified. I think, I think what, I think that did, Brock always says on the channel, on, on Rebel Scum Podcast, that that did, that that treated the prequels so well that it gave him new respect and new insight into the, into the, the prequels, which is great, and I think that's a really smart way to utilize your, uh, you know, your television, your, 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 yeah, your, your television aspect of it. I think that's brilliant, and that's something that I think Disney Plus needs to focus more on. But it, but gathering all of this information, taking it all in, saw the tweet was like, well, we've got it. Why, why do I need it in live action? And then you think, you know, and the Ahsoka stuff was like a year ago now. And you just look at it and you go, man, that stuff was so awesome to watch. And wouldn't it be awesome to get eight episodes of Hayden Christensen, Ewan McGregor, Natalie Portman, Jimmy Smith? Like, wouldn't it be awesome to have all of our favorite prequel characters back together. Now I'm this is what the original trilogy fans sounded like during the prequels. But this but wouldn't it be awesome to gather them in? Because one argument I have is and I'm going to get into it a little bit more, but it's like you're going to get a bigger audience when you go live action. And the Clone Wars had a lot of great stories, and I'm not saying redo those stories necessarily. They give us like the little bits that are in there. And Forbes did an article. I'm not going to bring it up because I can't stand Forbes. They're all clickbait. But they talked about this. And this is why I'm like, I need to do this video now. They did that article like six days ago. I just ran up. I'm doing the rundown for the Rebels Come podcast. And I saw it. And I was like, I got to do this video. It's time for live action Clone Wars. And I can't believe I'm saying that. We're not going to get it. I don't believe it's going to happen. But it's time. I think it is. I think with the slowing down of production of live action on Disney+, Plus. I think a Clone War show is a surefire hit. You have a beginning, middle, and end already built into it. Also, at the end of Attack of the Clones, 
we get Yoda's famous line. Begun the Clone War has. And then we go to Revenge of the Sith and the Clone Wars are ended. And you fill in the gaps with animation. I said this before in another video. If you if you if you pose a question in one medium, you got to answer it in the same one. And while I have no issue with the Clone Wars being done in animation, it would be stronger and more effective, and you would reach a larger audience if you did it in live action, and it would fill in those gaps, and it would almost feel like a more of a complete arc in there, as it were, because that we heard it in live action, we finished it in live action. Let's see it in live action. You go all the way back to A New Hope when it's mentioned. It's all live action. It's right there. I think it makes sense now. I think it makes sense. And I, like I said, don't redo what we got. Just show us like cool aspects of it in a way. Or you know what? I've said this a million times. Make a short, a short film, a short story on the Clone Wars. Just be like, this is a live action version of it. Kind of like we got in Ahsoka, but you know, one story fleshed out. I think there's a lot to do in there. You know, you can... I guess you could recast or AI, ooh, the evil AI, Christopher Lee, but I've just it just makes way too much sense to me at this point to do the Clone Wars. Star Wars, you know, we talked about it on on um on our Super Tuesday live show, Tuesdays, uh 8, 8 p.m. Eastern. We talked about it then and we said, you know, is Star Wars the darkest it's been? Or maybe we talked about it on Monday. I can't remember. <laughs> Star Wars the darkest it's been in. And there was a lot of I think it might be. I think this might be the darkest star wars has been you know you know all in all because between jedi and phantom menace it was too new it was it was a different thing and then sith and then force awakens you know the, the we weren't going to get it but then we got it and then you know obviously the sequel trilogy the reaction that that got and now the disney plus reaction stuff it's like this might be this might be the lowest of the low for star wars and the best way to get out of that clone wars live action so I want to talk a little bit about why I think Clone Wars live action uh, makes makes a lot of sense. You could build on the success of the animated series and the recent flashbacks featured in the Ahsoka show. First, the fan response to Clone Wars flashback in Ahsoka, which featured younger versions of Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano, was overwhelmingly positive. Ariana Greenblatt, who played young Ahsoka, mentioned discussing the idea with Hayden Christensen, reflecting fans desire for more of these beloved characters in live action the clone wars era is one of the most beloved in star wars history providing rich storytelling that deepens the bond between fan favorite characters like anakin ahsoka and obi-wan kenobi reproducing this in live action could attract older fans who grew up with the prequels while introducing new viewers to the dramatic events of the clone wars forbes <clears throat> has also pointed out that such a series could tap into nostalgia while offering fresh perspectives on the characters. Clearly, that's that's a no-brainer. Well done, Forbes. Producing a live-action Clone Wars would allow for a more detailed exploration of the galaxy's politics, wars, and Jedi teachings, giving it a new level of gravitas that wasn't fully achievable in the animated version. Moreover, with Ahsoka's success in pulling off high-budget cinematic-quality Star Wars storytelling, Lucasfilm has shown that it's more than capable of translating animated con uh, concepts into live-action effectively. While it's being reported that Disney may reduce the Star Wars series output due to budgeting and shift back to film releases, fewer Star Wars series are going forward on the streaming service. But I would argue once again that it would not be a bad idea for the Clone Wars to be brought into live action on Disney Plus because the critical and the fan acclaim for the Clone Wars era, especially after its live action tease in Ahsoka, indicates that well executed series, the series could still be viable and profitable. I want to know what you guys think. Would you be down for live action Clone Wars? Do you think it makes sense? Are you over it? Are you like, we got that in animation, James? Stop it. It's not going to happen. There's no point. I don't think it's going to happen, but I, I'm, I'm the case for it to happen is a great case. Going back to that tweet, you know, a year or so ago from Star Wars Theory, it definitely feels like it's something that should happen and I'm ready for it. And I think Lucasfilm, Disney, I think, you know, the, Ariana Greenblatt, as I said, was fantastic as young Ahsoka Tano. She's only going to get older. 
she's only going to get older. Hayden Christensen, who you know you DH, but he's only going to get older. And if you saw the Irishman, there comes a point in time when the action, you can DH all you want, but the action just isn't there anymore. So I'm saying let's do it sooner than later. You got Skeleton Crew, you got Andor Season 2, and you got Ahsoka Season 2. After that, after that, we got nothing. Fair game. Go for it. Someone pitched the idea. KK, KK, give me a phone call. Give me a phone call, KK. All right, everybody, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. We'll see you next time. May the force of others be with you.